Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's videos, we're going to talk about Ansible custom credential types. So in, in AWX or Ansible Tower or Ansible Automation Platform, depending on what you use, there's actually a custom credential type that you can set up um, so that, you know, say for example, hey, you need more things than just a machine login, right? Like say you're setting up an app and, and like a specific case that I've actually ran into is like Splunk, where it has more of an interactive than a non-interactive kind of setup where it prompts you for like, hey, I need the app admin pass or admin username and admin password and you would input those but the thing is you don't want to add those as extra variables and plain text passwords right like that doesn't make any sense and you need to know how to inject it into your playbook and then use it as an a uh, a credential type in your awx instance so that's what we're going to do today this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content, or want to sponsor me, or send me some free swagger hardware, my email is in the description below. So check it out. Awesome. Let's get started, guys. Okay, so what we'll do is get started with how to create a custom credential in AWX. Um, so we'll log into our AWX instance here. And over here, under administration, there is credential types. So you can click add, and then we can name our credential. So let's let's name it like app credentials, right? Um, so then you need to have input uh, configuration. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to actually just copy and paste this um, because it'll be a little bit easier, um, is this is what we have. So let's maximize this. So we have the fields that we want. So in this case, the fields are just essentially like what boxes do you want for people to input so in this case we're going to have an app username and we will set the label to be username but the id is app username we want a string so you can also set specific types but in this case this is going to be the easy example so then we'll have an app password right um so what we want here is and if we want them to be required we want the required fields to be what the ids are um so the thing other thing here is you can also set a field to be secret, which means it's like when you enter a password, it just that star, 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 and doesn't actually appear, you would set the secret to be true. So in this case, we'll just get a simple app username, app password, um, and then have them both be required in the fields. You can obviously make custom credentials that don't have required fields, but in this case, we're going to require both of them because we're going to do it. And then we need to edit the injector. So the injector is how essentially what variables you would use in your playbook to be able to be referenced from these. So essentially we'll set the extra vars and we will set um, app username to be the app username ID name. So this, this variable doesn't need to be the same as what this ID is. This could be any variable that you want to define, but for, for our sake, it's easy to kind of just be like, oh, we're just naming them the same because we're just, I mean, it's going to be the same, right? Um, but you can also, you know, define this more explicitly or more generally. It de depends on how you want. We could name this username and then this, and anything that you use username would reference app username in this field. Um, and then we'll go app password and set this to be the app password that is um, injected. So we'll save this. In here and then what we'll do is actually create a new credential using this so we'll click add and we'll be like app credential right um we'll set the organization to be default and then we'll look at the credential type and we can actually see that our credential type exists now so you can see in here how these are required fields username you can type in you know app username one two three right and then the password, how, how this is now, this is a secret. So app password one, two, three, right? Um, so you can show that. So, so it's an actual password. So you can save this in here. And now your credential is saved. So if you need to do installs and, and you need the credentials to be there, you can use these now. Now, how you use these in your template, right? Um, so say, for example, let's, let's go back to one of our templates. Um, let's just go to like system configuration here, right? Um, we'll edit this in our web IDE. Um, so this isn't going to be, you know, in all intents and purposes of how this would work. Um, but, well, or like the specific use case, it would depend on, you know, how you're using it. Um, but we're just going to echo out the values essentially in this case, but you would essentially inject it wherever you, you want it, whether it's in a config file, um, part of as like a parameter in your installation where it's like, Hey, 
installation package and then the parameters username and password type situation you can import it like that too um it really just depends on your um you know installation path but in this case what we'll do is we'll just output it so we'll output app user um and what we do is just do a shell command that just does an echo and then we'll do the same thing where we variableize it and then app username um, so this essentially means this is an Ansible variable, right? And this is the name of the variable. So what we did here in the credential types is we, we set what the variables would be. So in this case, app username would be the variable and app password would be the other variable. Um, so we can do the same thing here, app password, and we can output app password. So we'll commit this and app credentials. Um, to be used in our playbook. So once that is done, it will sync, validate, and deploy. And then while we wait for that, while we wait for this to deploy, um, we'll go to our projects and uh, not sorry, templates, and we'll go to our setup new server. So now that we create the credential, we actually need to apply it to this template. So we'll go back to credentials. We'll look up, and you can see our app credential type is here, and we can add the app credential. If you don't add the app credential, the playbook will be like, hey, there's no assign for this variable. And then we'll save. All right. So I think the deploy shouldn't take too long. Yep, job succeeded, all good. So what we can do here is launch template. We will just go to our next cloud instance, hit next, hit launch, and then we should be able to see it play. Um, so the nice part about this is essentially you can set up the credential to kind of just hide certain secrets that you need to use for up, uh, upgrades because there's, it's really bad because like if you were to do it without using credential, you would essentially be saying, hey, I want to set up, I want to launch this, but I would have like app credential, uh, app user, and then app password. And then the password here would be plain text, right? Like it would just be in plain text and anyone could look back at it. But if you do it as a credential, you can go to the credential and the thing is you can't see the credential again. Um, so you can replace it, but there's no way to actually see it. So essentially you have to reset it. If, if you were to change it, you want to, you would have to reset, replace it essentially. Um, so this, you know, makes your credential secure, make sure people just can't access it or see it in like a previous job run. Now, obviously if you did what I did here and I echoed it out to, you know, the console, it's going to actually, you know, show, show here. So, you know, it echoed app one username one, two, three, um, on this one. And then it, outputted the password echoed at password one, two, three. So, um, you know, this, this is one way to get around not being able to see it in, in the console, but essentially you wouldn't see this, um, as because you would just use it, um, in here. So that's essentially it. That's how you create a custom credential type, create a credential from it, update your playbook to be able to use it and then use it to your leisure. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.